Okay, so in this question, they say, what is the additive inverse of the expression a minus b? And the, the additive inverse, right, the, the basic property is that you have some value x. If you add its opposite, negative x, what you get is 0. So in other words, x and negative x are additive inverses for one reason really only, because, right, they, sorry with my handwriting, add to zero. And the idea is that if you have two things that add up to zero, they must be additive inverses of each other. And so what we're going to do here is think, okay, well, we have a starting expression a minus b, right? We want to think, well, what do we have to add to this expression to get to zero? Well, we want to add opposites, right? So the additive inverse of a is negative a. And the additive inverse of minus b is plus b. And that's it. We've got the additive inverse. You can test this by switching things around. You should always check this. a plus negative a will group first. Plus negative a. And then we'll say, okay, what if I have negative b, right? You can think of this, this as plus a negative b. Because if you're adding everything, you can regroup. Addition, remember, is commutative and associative. Negative b plus a plus b, or just plus b is also 0. So 0 plus 0 is 0, and those are additive inverses because they add to 0. So here, are, again, I get choice 3, negative a plus b. If you test any of the other ones, you'll see that they will not add to 0. And I, I encourage you to test them out, especially if, if you're feeling a little bit shaky about this problem. Thanks.